I enjoyed my time here at Leicestershire uh, with Mike Turner, who was Mike was in charge, Mike Turner. But at that time, we were a struggling side, and mm. it was very, very difficult to play in a struggling side. We were bottom of the county championship every year, mm. and. The, you could have had Garfield Sobers playing here, who to me is the greatest cricketer the world's ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen one as good as Sobers. If he'd have been playing in that side, he would have found it very, very difficult. Mm. But after that, of course, they changed uh, and became one of the best and, and re one of the most renowned and the and best county cricket clubs in the world. What makes a good umpire then, Dickie? Because um, I think it's fair to say worldwide you're, you're known as the best umpire there's ever been. There's no doubt about that in my mind anyway. What makes a good umpire, I would think application, uh, dedication, concentration, believing in yourself and being mentally strong uh, so that you can go out there, and especially in the big arena, the test match arena, Mm. Uh, when you have to be mentally strong uh, and believe in yourself because with the vast amount of money now which is coming to all sports, which it has, winning means everything. Uh, I'm a big believer in enjoy your sport, enjoy whatever you're doing, that's what it's all about. If you don't enjoy it, you're lost. It's as simple as that. And with the vast amount of money which has come into the game now, winning means everything. And this massive appealing has crept into the game and and people talk about pressure. I think you bring your own pressure on whatever walk of life and you bring your own pressure. But if you're going to talk about pressure, it's put a lot of pressure on umpires. And mm. uh, and I think those one or two points that I've come over, which I think is important in umpiring. The other thing is that when you were playing, the mass appeals that we see now, you'd never have seen in that in those days, would you? Well, and, not when I was and playing. And players never refused to walk. When I played, the, the baller used to appeal and the wicketkeeper and probably first and second slip would go up. But that was it. Uh, not like the massive appeal in which has crept in, into the game today. It's down to the umpire. Uh, the, there's nothing in the laws to say that you've got to walk. There's nothing in the laws at all. But I, I'm a big believer in this. If you don't walk and you wait for the umpire's decision, then you must take the rough with the smooth. And if you do get a bad decision, which, which you're going to get, is to try and get off the field if you can. I know it's not easy as a player, but try and get off the field and don't show any dissent on the field. There are millions of people who know about Dickie Bird who aren't even interested in cricket. Why do you think that is? You know, for the, you know a bit of a housewife choice as well, aren't you? <laughs> it's amazing. But I think what it might be is that I talk to everybody in the streets. I stop and I'll talk to everybody. Have a joke, have a laugh. That's what it's all about. I come off a field after standing for seven hours uh, umpiring, uh, seven hours in the day, and I'm tired when I come off, but I'll stand on the boundary edge and I'll sign every autograph for every little kid. If they come at close of play, I'll sign every autograph for every little kid. It's different, difficult in the day because we only get 35 minutes for, for us lunch uh, before, and then uh, 20 minutes for tea, so it's very difficult. But if they come at close, I sign every autograph that is for every little kid. And I think parents notice that as well, you mm. see. And I think, as I say, I've always tried to have a smile on my face. I've always tried to enjoy it. I've always helped everybody in life as much as I possibly can. And I think that's that's played and helped me as well. Mm. What's the reaction been then at the signings? As you say, I'm all over Great Britain. I'm so pleased. And the, the signing sessions have been massive. We've been signing at some signing sessions, two-hour signing sessions, the British public, they've been tremendous. The support they've given me is out of the, has been out of this world, and money can't buy that, and I'm so grateful for that. Hey, thanks again for listening to this interview. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button. Make sure you ring that notification bell. Check out all of the other interviews here, and if you can, please help the channel by subscribing. Thank you.